Good morning, everybody, and welcome to 3D Vision Technologies' monthly 10-4 Tech Talk, a monthly review of technology that can make you better, faster, and smarter. This is our sixth event so far this year. Many of our customers attend these Tech Talks to learn new insights to products they already have or find newer technology that can shorten the time to complete projects. I'm Todd Majewski, your host for today's event. Today's topic is saying goodbye to manual bill of materials for electrical. Our presenter today is Paisol Verakiti, an electrical application engineer for 3D Vision. Welcome to our 104 Tech Talk, Paisol. Hello, um, good to see you, or good to be here. Tell our audience a little bit about your background, Paisol. Well, um, I got a master's in uh, electrical engineering, and I've been with SolidWorks Electrical since uh, the beginning when they acquired the product and working with uh, 3D Vision under Todd here for three years, supporting engineers and do training and do implementations. Excellent. So can you tell us a little bit about what the audience is planning to see today? Well, um, just basically going to go quickly overview of how SolidWorks Electrical workflow is going to look like and how you can quickly generate schematics in no time and while not having to worry about the bill materials or doing auditing. Excellent. All right, well, let's just get started and show the cust our customers what they're going to see. All right. Um, in uh, more detail of what we're going to look into today, so we're going to be talking about workflow with SolidWorks Electrical. And we're going to see how um, SolidWorks Electrical can really help you quickly generate electrical schematics in, in sometimes a matter of seconds. While generating the build material and doing auditing is the thing in the history. We're going to look into how uh, SolidWorks Electrical can publish their documentation without having to create another extra workflow or process for that. And we're going to see how, how that looks like. And we're going to touch a little bit on how you can collaborate with other designers in electrical engineering department and with mechanical electrical department. So that's kind of our agenda today. I'm going to go ahead and kick off um, with the first question of the day here. How do you generally or how do you currently generate your electrical bill material and auditing? Do you do it manually with um, Excel spreadsheet on the side? Or do you have someone else do it like an intern? Or does your AW or your ECAD that you're using right now have, um, you know, like an automatic uh, routine that, that does that for you? All right. Well, thank you. That's right on what I've been experiencing for the past three years. Uh, a lot of you, like uh, th uh, three quarters of, of all the customers are currently doing the bill material by hand manually. And as we can see how um, painful that could be. Um, so that leads me to our first topic. Um, just kind of like an overview of, you know, kind of confirm, yeah, this is what, what you're going through. Our common electrical design process is broken down into three steps. The first is you draw your logical definition, your uh, select your parts and your cable drawings. All that's done in probably um, any other 2D CAD package that doesn't have any intelligence to it. You then will have to create your documentation, you create your BOM, your wireless, and to from list, and of course you have to make sure that they all um, are correct. They're not, um, you know, like mismatch or anything like that. And then once you find that there's an error or that you have to make any changes, for example, your contact relay needs to be a different size, you have to re repeat the process. And, and this could, could take a lot of time. So the, the value that SolidWorks Electrical brings is that first, it makes it a lot easier to make, to whip out schematics with the tools that you're about to see here. And also without having to worry about, you know, doing the auditing or entering the bill of material. Everything is in one software. So let's take a look. So here I have a really simple um, conveyor belt design. So I'm going to show you how I can create um, one, uh, the power schematics on the motor while not having to worry about anything else. So here I have my what's called favorites or macros. This is where um, like a commonly used circuits that I, I would need. It's just almost like building Lego blocks. And this can fully be customized by um, any one of your team. And now that, that I have my schematics in a matter of seconds, what's left to do is number all the wires, hit this button, and now I have my wires. What about the 
um, documenting, documenting the bill material and wireless. Well, that's already done in the background. Here I have um, all the parts. I didn't have to put that in. Here's all the origin and destination of every single wires. And if I make a change, it will update instantaneously. And all that's done, I just have to click this button and hit OK, and there's my bill material. So on the left-hand side over here, I can see that in the reports folder, here's my bill material classified by uh, the manufacturer, and also I have the list of my wires. So as you can see here, um, the work that's been done for my part as an electrical engineer is 100% on designing and not having to worry about manual work. So that's what SolidWorks Electrical can do for me is just really speed up my design process and um, really crank out my work uh, without having to w worry about things that you know I don't want to worry about, like doing electrical ball manually. So this brings up the next question. It's kind of confirm. Um, just want to see like where you guys are at as long as time. So how long does it usually take for you to successfully, confidently document your bill material and audit them? Uh, maybe a couple hours. I'm talking about like uh, you know a typical project. Uh, this could be arbitrary. Um, is it going to be longer than a week, three days to a week, or a couple hours? Maybe one to three days. All right. And the response here, most of you said longer than a week. So, um, and that is a, a very good point. And here's um, a really good case study video that, that kind of confirms that, and also a success story of a company that is making a um, cancer treatment machine uh, using particle accelerometer and they involve 18 miles of wires and cables. Without a product like SolidWorks Electrical, this would have been a nightmare. So um, I mean, I highly check, or highly recommend to check that out. It's a really good video. And um, it's a five minute video um, if you would like to, to learn more about what SolidWorks Electrical has been used for. And this brings you the next question. How do you currently package your electrical documentation? What I mean by that is like at the end of the day, at the end of the week or uh, what, what not, like when you're done with your project, how do you deliver your documentation to a customer? I mean, if, if they ask for, for the documentation for your press machine, how do you do it? Do you manually place individual drawings individually in, in folders? Or do you have someone else do it? Or do you have software that does it for you. All right, so all of you are doing it manually using DFG files and two folders, and, and then there's probably a good reason for that um, because some customers or suppliers still need, still are using DFG format. So, um, but I'm going to show you in SolidWorks Electrical how we can quickly generate and apply all the stuff in, in, in SolidWorks Electrical without ever leaving um, the software. So as you can see on the side here. Hey, Bay, so I want yeah. to ask a question. This is Todd again. I saw you generate that uh, quick schematic, but man, you did that really fast. Was there some kind of magic you were doing? Because mm -hmm. I can't believe how quickly you put that together. Well, it's basically a, it's called a macro. Essentially, it's just a, a favorites of what circuitry that, that you're going to use all the time. Well, how, how I create that is just basically once I have it drawn out, I can just select it and put it in the panel and it's going to ask me to put some information, maybe some notes, what, what that is, and that's all it takes. And if I'm on the network server, everyone can just come and see, oh, here's, here's what's been created and all I need to do is just put it in here and the bill material is generated and everything's named. Wow, that's fantastic. Oh, sorry to interrupt. Oh, no, you're fine. Great question. So yeah, that's what I love about this as well. Now back to uh, documentation. As you can see, everything that I'm working with is conveniently located on my left-hand side here. I can see the cover page, the drawing list, the line diagram. As I go creating, generating my uh, sheets and documentations, um, I can just organize everything. Like for example, if I want another folder, I can just add new more uh, new folder as I need it, maybe uh, wireless, 
and hit OK. And then I want the list of the cables and the wires inside this folder. I have a really nice archiving or a hierarchy order of, of how I want to manage my file. So, and I want to cover just a little bit here, back to our slide, is that every, every type of file you can imagine, you can insert inside SOLIDWORKS Electrical, like PDF. It's very commonly used, like if you want to include um, the data sheet of the components. Um, other, than, other than that, like uh, maybe a P, PNG file, like snapshot from, from your cell phone, if you can't find any part information anywhere and, and you just need to, to include that information in your, in your project, you can do that. SOLIDWORKS Electrical can keep any files um, inside of, of your project. And besides, of course, the obvious, like how you can create the synaptic diagrams, wiring diagram, streams, uh, we can generate terminal strip drawings as well. That's also an automated feature. We can uh, figure that, or we can, uh, you guys can look into that in, in the blog that I'm about to give you. And also 2D and 3D uh, panel layout, if you have SolarWorks Electrical 3D. And of course, all the reports and calculation, it's all conveniently located inside of the software. And all that's um, all that said, again, here's here's the uh, link that you can take uh, to look at, Five Amazing Things blog about SolarWorks Electrical. I'll cover that as well. We're going to go back to um, where we were, and I'm going to show you the deliverable of SolarWorks Electrical. Let's say at the end of the day, I'm done with my schematics, I'm done with my line diagram and all the report, and I want to publish this to a customer. Well, I have a few options here. I can actually export this to DDG file, just like if you're, you're wanting to do that. And let's take a look how it will look like. It has a um, organizing folder kind of scheme for you, so you, you, you can just manage what, uh, what sheet you want into what folder. It will automatically do that for you in one step. But what I want to highlight today is, is a, a new way of doing things. Just, you know, everyone has a PDF, and PDF is a really wonderful tool that any smart device can have access to. So why not use that? I'm going to go ahead and, and hit print here, and I'm just going to go um, on and take everything that I just did and put inside a PDF format. And here's my PDF format. Everything is in scalable vector. So uh, no matter how hard I zoom or how far I zoom, the line won't get, or the image won't get fuzzy. And here's um, all the components of the, the project that I have in PDF form, like the box, how it's going to look like, and everything. So, but the best thing of all that I like about PDF is the intelligence is still there. Meaning that um, if I have a motor, that's linked to a different page in, P in PDF, it will reflect that as well. So imagine you're at the floor or you're, you're sending it to a customer or reviewing it. Um, you know, if your sales team wants to see uh, the documentation, they can just open up their iPad or, or whatnot and just tap on um, the project and they, they can see exactly what's going to be involved inside certain location because everything that has um, or every component that's contained in your project is listed in the PDF as well. I kind of like to refer it to as a graphical bill of material. So for example here, I can just take a look at what K1 has a representation of, so on and so forth. So that's um, documentation. Let's get back to our, our last topic, which is collaborative design. One of the best benefit in using SOLIDWORKS Electrical when involving more than one electrical engineer is that you can have multiple designer working on the same project at one time. And this can be a huge benefit which you might not even realize before. Um, I've, you know, from my experience working with customers, this is one of the best things that, that they say uh, they've done so far with electrical um, packets because one person, for example, the project manager can just lay out a line diagram, and it's, it's a one-shot um, type of deal where he can just put in a, a motor, a cable, and locations, organize everything, and as, and as he do that, everybody else in the team will see what he did on the components list. So if one person changed something or need to you know, communicate to the editor engineer that, hey, this, this needs to be changed, the change will populate graphically, automatically, 
autonomously and, and instantaneously. And this is also true when you have 3D. So if one person is designing an electrical cabinet in the 3D space and he needs a you know a different size a circuit breaker or something like that, uh, the change will propagate back into 2D in real time. So it's a really nice tool that everyone um, can, can really take advantage of. For the final remark, Mark Twain said, if your only tool is a hammer, then every problem will look like a nail. So um, this is also true with SolarWorks Electrical. I mean, with the tool of 21st century in making electrical schematics, I mean, any challenge that's thrown, thrown at you, you're going to be able to look at it in a very different way. Now let's go on to the questions. Hey, before we jump into questions, while we're waiting for our audience to give in some questions, that collaboration piece, I've been on the road a lot with uh, customers and we talk about the electrical and I always ask the question, how many people work on a project at a time? And I always get the answer, only one. And now that you, we have the capability to have multiple people working on one project, um, this will actually shorten their design time Absolutely. because most other tools, which are you know schematic design tools, don't allow collaborative design where multiple people can work on the same right. project. Yeah. So that's usually the answer I get. Only one guy's working on one project. But now you're telling me we can have multiple people working on the yes. same project. That's yes. awesome. All right, so um, here's a question that comes up is, um, so what happens if I can't find uh, the part that I'm using or the, that, that I need to use? What do I do? Well, in SolarWorks Electrical, in, um, in your parts man, uh, library manager, you can actually hit one button, which is um, called online content. And SolarWorks Electrical has done a wonderful job of, of getting all the manufacturers like AVB or uh, Allen Bradley, Schneider Electric, all those big manufacturers to put up their electrical components uh, list and for you to conveniently download so that you won't have to generate them manually. Um, but um, also, if you can't, still can't find it, because frankly, we're, we're kind of at the mercy of the manufacturer. But if you can't find it, um, SolidWorks Flexco has a really nice tool that um, kind of really, or not, uh, not automate, but streamline that process of importing your current bill of material that has um, like all your part numbers in it and then makes your job a lot faster and easier in, in converting from your current platform to SOLIDWORKS Electrical. Another question is, are the circuits or circuit macros generic or do they contain a bill of material specific to a motor, starter wire, and so on? Uh, that's a good question. Um, basically, this is just how you are creating it. So if, if you're creating it with your um, specific part number for, let's say, a breaker and a motor pair, and even the wire gauge and size and cables, it will it will it will store that. So that's that's one of the um, one of the beauty of using the macros is because whatever you decide at the point of creation, it will remember that when you drag and drop, everything will be the same. So a lot of those macros are, they, I think what the, the question sounds like is specific, are they specific to certain types of components? And I think they are, but you can also customize them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Um, another question that, that uh, comes up is how long does it take for um, like, for, you know, the ramp up time. So basically. The ramp up time usually takes, I don't know, if uh, according to, to, to my experience, anywhere from three to six months um, to, to get really fully on board with, with this because, uh, you know, you, you have to train it, you have to be getting really used to it and also, but, but once you get it up and running, you can turn your project in no time. And I'm going to share one quick story regarding that is, um, we have a customer up in Piqua, Ohio, uh, that was using AutoCAD Electrical to um, create schematics, and, and they they were um, wanting to switch to SolidWorks Electrical, and they have. Um, but uh, the engineer there was just really busy, so they 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 contacted us to go in and do kind of like a pilot project for them. 
So they contracted us for six weeks because that's usually how it would how long it would take for them to use that current uh, product that they were using to do electrical design. But it ending up taking us four days, 35 hours total, to do everything and beyond what they were expecting. As far as the electrical schematics, um, it was it was close to 100 sheets and involving 250 plus components with um, at least 15 or 16 locations. And it's basically a, a big machine that uh, does electro coating for, uh, for manufacturer parts or for autom automotive parts. So um, it's, it's uh, for the ramp up time, it's uh, usually two months, anywhere to six months, depending on your team. And also um, once you get up there, you have your pilot project, um, you know, like the prop, this product's already been proven that it's it really will shorten your time. You got time for one more question? Basil, can you answer one more? It looks like there's one more question coming in. Yeah. Okay. Um, so another question is, what about the collaborative, or what about the server? Like, do, do, do you need a... a you know, a really big server um, to host this? The answer is uh, not really. Uh, SolidWorks Electrical runs on SQL. So um, if you, you know, just six to seven engineer SQL Express that comes with us, the product will do the job. And um, the, uh, the size and the speed of the server, it can just, if, if it can handle SolidWorks, it can handle SolidWorks Electrical, no problem. Well, looks like there's no more questions. So I want to take over from here. Paisel, thank you very much. That was actually, you ended with a very great story, okay. talking about that a company up in Piqua that allocated six weeks for you to do that project, and you did it in four days. And I remember earlier in the slide, one of the questions you asked was, uh, how long does it take for people to put together their manual uh, bill of materials? And it, they said weeks. Mm -hmm. So I could see a huge differential in time just savings just by using this product. So thanks again for showing this. And audience, thank you again for attending. Thank you for your questions and your input. It was fantastic. So make sure you join us in one month from now on July 23rd, where we're going to be showing how to use 3D printing for end-use parts. So thank you again, everyone, for attending. and we'll